Welcome on the day six of this online course physics with Sala. Today we will have a quick look on plotting 3D graphs in Sala, and then we will see the exporting of the graphs in different formats that we missed in our yesterday's lecture. So first we will write the code for plotting the sphere. So I have already written the code. I just explained. So in the comments I have written the plotting a sphere in Scilab. Then CLF command for clearing the figure on the graphics window and CLC for clearing the console. So now here R is defined and it is the radius of the circle. Suppose I have took its value 3, then I have to define the angle that is polar angle theta is equal to from minus 2 pi to 2 pi uh, with the step size of uh, 0 0.1 and the azimuthal angle phi it is also defined from minus 2 pi to 2 pi with the same step size of 0.1 then I have defined this two variable mesh screen it's a function of theta and phi so what is a mesh screen it is a a multi-dimensional matrix then we define the x as we know it is r it's a radius into sine of theta into cos of phi then y is r sine of theta into sine of phi and z is r cos theta so now first we will plot this with the function plot 3d so save and execute so this is our graphics window appear on the screen it can be rotated by using this rotate option by putting the cursor on the figure and then by clicking the right click and then you can rotate it in any directions now we will see another option for plotting the sphere it's surf so now the graphics window will appear like this now you can see so in the earlier plot that we have made with the plot 3d function has the single color but with the function surf we have the multi colored sphere on the screen again you can rotate using the rotate option and then bringing it on the figure and then with the right click you can rotate in any direction now next we will see the code for plotting different trigonometric or algebraic function using f plot function so again here First, I have written the command CLF for clearing the figure on the graphics window and then CLC for clearing the console. So, first I have defined the function Z which is the function of the variable X and Y. The syntax for defining the function I have written Z in single quote Z is equal to F of X, Y comma in single quote z is equal to suppose my function is sine of x into cos x 
this variables x and y I have ticked from minus 20 to 20 with a step size of 0.1. Now first I use the function f plot 3d for plotting the function z. So save and execute. Now here is the a 3d plot of the function z and I can rotate it. So we can use the different functions for example if I take sine of simply x into cos of y so the graph is like this If I have used here, suppose x into y, so then 3D graph will appear like this. Now if I use x into x plus y into y. For the function x square plus y square. In the next program, I have plot the 3D plots Greek function. So I have defined here the function z equal to f of xy and z is equal to exponential of minus y square minus x square. So the variables I have defined with the function lean space. So the values are from minus 2 to 2 and total values are 80 similarly y then z is equal to f eval so it is the function for evaluating the different values for function f then first I will use here plot 3d function to plot the 3d graph is the graph for the function exponential of minus x square minus y square same graph can be plotted with the function surf also so now it will appear in different colors so this is the way we can plot the 3d functions with one color and with different colors so now we will export these graphics window into different formats to do this i just go into a file in the graphics window and then click on the option export to so I will say give some name 3d graph then I can export it into different formats like PNG image, JEPG image, encapsulated postscript image, postscript image, 
PDF image, SVG image and so on. So I want to save it into my scilab folder as a JPEG image.